The SGX Nifty is up 30 points, 10,955. Yesterday, the Nifty futures premium did come off a bit, uh, but uh, still, you know, around 30 point premium. So, indicating a start once again somewhere around 10,920, 925. Yesterday's high was 10,928. So, once again in that zone. Uh, how to approach it? Ashwini Gujral, Sudarshan Sukhani, and Mitesh Thakkar now join us. Uh, Good morning, uh, Ashwini. Uh, your thoughts first. You were making this point yesterday that uh, breakout is due, perhaps, if not yesterday, then uh, at some point, uh, you know, in the near future. Uh, how would you trade it? See, good morning. First of all, uh, Motilal Oswal's numbers you can extrapolate to the entire industry. Mm. So, anyone who thinks there is great market sentiment at 11,000 is probably smoking something. Having said that, uh, you know, it's that sort of market where you keep a 150-point nifty stop and, you know, we slowly keep moving higher and every other day you have corrections, etc. Uh, let's just say there aren't enough shots to have a breakout in the market. I mean, if I get 11,020 today, I'll take some off. But again, I'd say... Uh, 11,900, 875, yesterday's lows, if we come back down there, that's where we buy because that's where some amount of shots come in. So that way, you know, uh, you know, you can keep wide stops and continue to ride. But uh, intraday, if you buy at 10,960, 10,980, unlikely you'll make a whole lot of money. Okay. Fair point. Uh uh, Ashwini, uh, let me pause, pose the same question to Sudarshan. Uh, Sudarshan, buy on dips, but not at 10,950? Uh, good morning, Lata. Well, it's a very difficult question for today because we have re uh, two of the large companies reporting numbers. And suppose the market likes those numbers in spite of the discounting that it may have done. We could actually see a rally and uh, maybe even go higher. So, Anu has spoken about how this band 10,920, 10,950 area has been resistance multiple times and that is today's uh, trading uh, fact that, that we are right at that point again. Now, the key question for anyone is, are we going to cross that or are we going to stay here? Yesterday was a very narrow range day. Now we have to take a guess. It's really a probability guess whether we'll cross that hurdle today or tomorrow or stay. I would assume that the markets, with whatever choppiness, are inching upward. So my suggestion is that yesterday we had plenty of opportunities for buying on dips. Today, after the narrow range day and the fact that the Nifty could actually open at the higher end, just go long in the Nifty. It's not a day trade, but you have to keep the position. I'm assuming that there would be a breakout from that resistance zone, which Anuj has spoken about repeatedly. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, uh, Mitesh Thakkar also joins in. Uh, Mitesh, uh, do you also believe, I mean, Sudarshan has been holding on to this call for a while that this market is trending upwards and you need to have patience. What's your own view? How do you approach it? Good morning. So I think we've had a very similar kind of an outlook, uh, basically being long and uh, using any declines to go long. Uh, around 10,950, 980, there is an established uh, supply zone. So maybe you would want to take some profits. But I think the idea should be to still uh, maintain more of a long bias. There is a good chance of a breakout happening. And uh, once it breaks out above this range, then I think I'm looking at targets of 11,080 to about 11,100. So given the overall outlook, maintain a long bias, but tactically you might want to reduce the uh, long exposure, take some profits around this range. And if we see strength beyond this range, maybe get back into the positions and add uh, more aggressively on stock side as well as on uh, index side. Okay, fair enough. Uh, <coughs> Sudarshan, good morning. Uh, uh, let's talk about stocks then. Uh, uh, how are you approaching individual stocks? Well, this time uh, a lot of mid-caps uh, will, because the Nifty will do what it will do. So the large cap uh, is primarily ICICI Bank, excellent chart and uh, suggesting much higher levels ahead. It's uh, not only for today, it's also positional trade and that gives a sense that perhaps the markets will and at least the Nifty Bank is willing to go higher and take the rest of the market with it. The other buying ideas are Adani Ports. Yesterday, Adani Ports had a handsome gain day, a big rally while the market was in a huddle. That tells us a breakout is imminent on the upside. Havels, where a small consolidation continues and that consolidation, given the mildly bullish nature of this market, it should break on the upside. It's not broken, we are buying in anticipation. And Ramco Cement, where a very attractive bullish head and shoulder is building at a base, 
that's a positional trade and a day trade and for today uh, it is also a message for cement stocks most cement stocks are giving a sense of bottoming out so there are uh, when we look at the charts we see far more bullish patterns than bearish but uh, that can change in a day i have see it as a short sell it is a bearish chart and looking at lower levels okay you know what gentlemen today all of you have vastly different sectors and stocks except for adani ports which uh, ashwini is also recommending so ashwini your picks see basically uh, things are a little diverse so uh, within sectors there are different sort of trends uh, you know financials uh, there are certain stocks which are making bottoms certain psu banks which were outperforming and again made fresh highs uh, nit tech has some sort of acquisition news etc so adani port is a buy with a stop of 384 target to 412 NIT Tech is a buy with a stop of 1195, target of 1240. Union Bank is a buy with a stop of 94, target of 102. Bank of India is a buy with a stop of 103, target of 110. And India Bulls Housing is a buy with a stop of 820, target of 860. About Indigo, I still think it will go up. I have not recommended because yesterday it was kind of over recommended. But uh, my sense is you could uh, get another five seven percent. Before this rally is over. Hmm. Okay, Mitesh, what about you? What stocks would be on your radar this morning? Yeah, so I'll add, you know, uh, Adani posted my list in the sense that it was a recommendation yesterday only, and I continue to maintain my positive view. But that apart, I have more of bias towards the pharma names today. Two of them feature in my list: Dr. Reddy's. Despite having a bad news, the intraday charts uh, ended up with the strength. So that's a buy with a stop at 2592 for targets close to about 2680. Lupin, the candlestick pattern is quite positive. Should see more upward continuation. So that's a buy with a stop at 850 and half for targets of 890. Uh, Phenolex pipes uh, uh, is one of the mid caps which I would recommend. Good price and volume breakout. It's a buy with a stop at 547 for targets of 585. And my final call is on ITC. I've been recommending this stock earlier as well, but they are clear cut more and more continuation signals occurring on the indicator setup. So buy with a stop at 288. Look for targets of 308. Okay, well, I have to ask an inevitable question. Almost uh, yes, bank uh, Mitesh, what is the trade? I mean, quite a jump in the past few days. Uh, Lata, we have been maintaining a positive bias ever since that 193, 195 zone was cleared, and I am looking at targets close to about 225. So, if somebody is holding the stock, hold, and if somebody wants to add on, I think wait for any minor dips on intraday basis. Anything close to 200, 202 would be a good buying opportunity. Keep a stop below 193, and 225 should be a potential target for the next few weeks. All right, uh, gentlemen, thanks a lot. Oh, 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 oh,